Hey guys, welcome to another Almost Inevitable Divi tutorial. And in this case, um, this was also another request from someone. And it is, um, this, this is it. So <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tag him in this video, not in the post later. So what we're trying to do in this one is make something like this. Now, of course, this row, um, I took out the gutter uh, widths because, you know, sixth columns are sort of, you know, it's not enough space. So I just took out the gutter widths to uh, one. Um, but other than that, these are just as is. The widths here are as is. Um, what we're doing here is taking the blurb and making it something like this, where it has an overlay. And we can add the text here. Now, whatever you do, you can actually change the size of the text and the the, the overlay that you see here, like this, that will stretch to fit the text. Okay, so um, we can make it larger, like we can make the text larger. In this case, for example, um, I'll just go over here and right now I put it at 14 just because I wanted to get these guys to fit inside, but um, we can change it to something like 20 pixels and as you can see uh, the what is it the the overlay color will scale with it so um, 40 and yeah same thing this stretches with it as you can see right I should have in retrospect I should have used a lighter colored image just so it's easier to see <laughs> but I just like I just wanted to put cars in here. All right, so <clears throat> um, let's get this back to whatever, 16 pixels, doesn't matter. Um, this is the CSS that you're gonna add. Now, of course, um, in the blog post, if you go to the post, you'll see uh, different ways of adding uh, the, what is it, custom CSS. Um, in this case, what I'm, I've done is in the row, you have to add AI text overlay. Now that allows you to um, just target this row. So anytime you have a row and you put in AI text overlay in the row custom CSS right here, CSS class right here, then if you see any, if you add any blur module inside that row, whatever column it is, it doesn't matter, it will stretch all the way and it will have this overlay on the bottom and the text will be right there. So um, to change those colors of the background, you can change this. That is the opacity of black. You can of course change these numbers around, get a different color to fit your brand. Um, you can change this to get the the opacity to change, for example, like 0.7, then we'll get a much darker overlay. As you can see right here, it's much darker now, right? Um, yeah, so you can change this. And this, basically, you can do whatever you want. You can actually style it inside the blur module if you wanted to. And you can change, um, you can change it heading level, it doesn't really matter because um, I am targeting it with um, the module header, oops, the module header class. Now, like I said, um, you don't have to use this part. You don't have to use this part if you don't want to. Um, just remember that um, Divi adds, oh, I shouldn't have gone there. Uh, Divi adds um, padding to the bottom. So as you can see here, H4 has 10 pixels padding on the bottom, um, and that is the default. So it would look like this by default. That's why I took the padding out. Now this is up to you. You can put padding on top or bottom, it's up to you, but you don't have to do that on the H4. What you can do is change the padding here. Now it says six pixels. That means six pixels all around. You can change that to 12 or 13 if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, so just add the padding the way that you want and you know, you'll get extra padding around the text. Okay, um, I think that's about it. 
So what, how, the way that I made this, the way that the reason that this works is because um, this whole module over here, this module, inside the module there's blurb content, and underneath that you have two divs right here, blurb image and blurb container. So blurb content gets relative positioning and it gets a width of 100, max width also of 100 because um, the regular Divi styling maxes out the blurb content to only 550 pixels as you can see here. So we're going to override that. And um, it's good that Divi now took out a lot of importance. Not that this had important, but it's, it's a lot easier to override everything now. Um, anyways, um, the reason why I added line height zero is if you don't, it gets these that image inside this guy, the inline block, gets um, a slight um, line height, technically, I guess. So I just took it out with zero, and that makes it uh, fit the um, uh, the box, the image, perfectly, right? So that gets relative positioning, and then this doesn't matter. Uh, the blurb container gets absolute positioning, and then you're going to position everything accordingly. Um, I didn't add a specific height. I could have like done this, then it can do that, but I won't because if it's auto, then it will wrap and fit the height of the text with, of course, padding, right? So that's how that works. Um, of course, another plug just in case um, you are interested in learning more. There are a couple things that I would like to say. One is if you have any tutorial requests, feel free to email me or um, text me on Facebook or whatever. My email is pk at almost inevitable.com. So feel free to email me. Don't send me spam, please. <laughs> so um, feel free to uh, uh, request tutorials if you need them, but you have to be patient because it takes quite a while for me to get to it because at the moment I'm actually making a course. Now this looks really bad because I'm in the middle of recording courses, but I'm actually making a course about CSS and um, you can actually write all this yourself once you learn the course because um, the course that I'm planning is that I'm currently making actually has uh, actually can take you from a, a total beginner where you don't even know how to write one line of CSS and after the course hopefully if you learn everything you can be at this level where you can write all this yourself and you'll understand you just read this and you'll understand what's going on so um, it's from total new or beginner or intermediate level CSS writers all the way up to almost expert level so it's a pretty comprehensive um, CSS course so um, keep a, keep an eye out for that sign up for the newsletter and you will get a special um, offer and discount when it re and when it is released very soon okay all right I think that's about it so um, make sure you add oh, not here make sure you add the um, AI text overlay if you don't want to use the AI prefix um, then change it to whatever you want just make sure you change everything as you can see yep um, and add a blurb module in it you can't there's I haven't done anything to the text if you add content underneath here then it will most likely break it <laughs> just use the title because uh, that was not only the the request it is also uh, simple enough just to add you know like a text to explain uh, what the image is that's I think that's that was the whole point of what the request was about and if you wanted to link somewhere of course you know how to link it there's how this is how you link it okay all right so I think that's about it so enjoy add the custom CSS and you're um, you're done okay so I'll see you in another video then okay bye bye